Okay, so there's a few things. Uh, one, I ran out of money so quickly trying to buy that stuff that I am going to go complete this quest, which I had planned to show anyways. Um, because it involves Christie. This is the final Christie quest. She should be around here somewhere, I think. And it's the final one. I want to show the end of that one at least. Remember that one where I have to find a bunch of probes and stuff? Damn it. So if I can find her quickly, she should be around here, I think. And then I gotta sell something. But holy hell, is that equipment is expensive. Yes. Christy should be around here, I think. Or normally she is. Where is she? I know it sucks I'm showing this now, but... Uh, should be around here. I don't think she's only at night. I think she's like all the times of the day. Where are you, Christy? I want to show this. Oh, there she is. I think. It's got to be Christy over there. In which case... Yeah, I got to get over there now. If I can maybe quickly... Eh. Think I can do this? Cool. I did it. There she is. All right, so I collected a bunch of stuff for her. Let's find out why I've been doing this. She's gonna tell me. Don't tell me you're done already. Hot oh, damn, you never cease to amaze me. A lot of Pathfinders tried their hands at this one before, you know? Just in case your head wasn't swollen enough already. You're in the real deal, Chuck. A blade worthy of taking up my colleague's mantle. So I can tell you about what was in those data units now. I mean, if you want. All right, I'll listen. Thanks. It's been a long story, to be honest, but I appreciate your patience. When the Earth Life Colonization Project was started, the question arose as how we would gather resources and intelligence on a new planet. A special team with the code name Frontier was assembled to tackle these issues. I was one of the many researchers involved, even after White Whale took off. We kept working on the problem around the clock. We barely ate. I don't even know if we slept. We just knew there wasn't a moment to waste. And then finally, we finished working, uh, finished a working version of what would, become to, would come to be Frontier Nav. When the gangland attacked the white whale, our lab came under fire. My team, our data, it all came crashing down to mirror along with everything else. And so far as I know, I'm the only one left. I even used Frontier Net to search for them, but yeah, nothing. That's, uh... The team would be proud of her. Thanks, I try to remember that. I know my colleagues wouldn't want me to dwell on the past. Getting back to the point, our team was working with five of these data units. Each one contains data on a top secret and second generation version of Frontier Nav. Even after Frontier Nav was complete, the rest of my team continued to pursue their research voluntarily. I don't think Nagi knows about this. Hell, even I don't know all the finer details. My friends gave all they had to ensure the future prosperity of humankind. And I want to honor that. But there's still one data unit missing. If I can track it down, will you go out there and recover it? Together we can uncover my friend's final legacy. It would mean the world to me, Chuck. Please consider it. Sure. And I also did that for the money. She'll probably be somewhere else for that final one. But I did that because I wanted to show you it, but also because I wanted the money. Just speaking for Because place. I'm only up to 50,000 right now. That'll barely cover... I went for a division spoil. Uh, There's something I could sell to get 30,000 extra money or credits or whatever. So I, I sold some of my equipment, but a lot of it... Selling equipment here does not give you a lot, truthfully. So I at least want to get something decent on uh, Lin. So if we go to consumable items, this thing I can sell for 30,000. That'll give me 80,000, which allows me to get some extra body armor on Lin at least. I mean, I'm mostly done. At least the torso gets something on her. Just look how much it's going to cost me in the end. Yeah, I'm on Lin. Let's see, where's the good ones? That's 70, I think. Yeah, here. What is that? Cost? Wow, it costs too much. I can't even equip Lin. I can't even equip her. It, it takes too much time, and I don't get enough money to sell my stuff. I bet that's Christy. Let's just check that out, and then I'll think I'll head back to where I need to go. As for Blake, is that Christy? No, it's Tobias. Oh well. Let's, I guess, board my scale and head back to there and maybe see if I can plant a probe. Maybe I can avoid the battle for now and at least try to plant the probe behind. It won't get me money and it won't get me anything else and I don't have anything I can put on Lin right now. But I might 
I might be able to survive a little bit better. I mean, I'm much more higher level than them. The problem was I haven't really upgraded my 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 ground body armor because uh, I've been mostly using my scales a lot, which I'll admit was kind of stupid to do because now I've kind of screwed up uh, in a way. But I'm way above them in level, at least a good six. You know, that shows how bad I'm doing right now. All right, let's just skip you for now and get back there to at least plant that probe. Should be one back here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, I almost went into it. Maybe even get you. Might be able to get some extra money out of it. Let's see. Mechanical level 2. I'm also hoping for more storage probes. I get research probes and a lot of mining probes. The mining probes are useless if I have no storage ones and I have no idea where to buy them. Alright, where are you? In fact, you might not even be here, would you? Well. Apparently I might not even be able to plant this one. It could be out of my way up there for all I know. And those guys are pretty high level that they would kill me. I don't even see where this probe is, so it might not be plantable. I'm not even in the area yet. Oh wait, there it is. Cool. Found it. If I can at least get this probe, it'll bring me a little bit closer each time. Yeah, I don't really care. There's a guy. Something in there, perhaps. <coughs> What's in this cave? Might as well check it out. This is a secluded lava lake, apparently. 35. Something over there I can uh, get. I bet these guys are also enemies. Most enemies in here aren't too bad. In fact, they probably won't even notice me, most of them. He did, but who cares? I'm not gonna fight. I just wanna get to that thing. Aw, oh, man, I hate those places like this. It's not like I can even do much now. I have to run away and hope that they get off of me, but since they're flying enemies... It's not gonna work, is it? I have to fight it, I guess. I don't want to, though. I really don't want to fight it. This is ridiculous. I hate when the, this happens. Like, you can't even run away from an enemy. That happens to me a lot. I'm not even that strong. The best I can do is maybe head out here. Let's see where it takes me to. What the? That's strange. Okay, I'm running out of here, I think. I don't feel... I just don't feel like fighting them. It's not that I fear them or anything. But I don't feel like fighting them. I can't even get up there. How do I get out of here, actually? I guess I gotta go up there. Gee, I hate these enemies so much. The ones that keep popping up, you just try to run away, but you can't. There's a lot of places, especially in caves and secluded areas, I find these enemies a lot. Oh wow, well, I'm just gonna leave. Wait, I can't leave! I can't actually leave until I beat these enemies, apparently. What is this? I can't leave- oh wait, no, there's my exit, I think. Oh. I might have to die then. Oh, there's something here. I'm gonna die. I can't take care of these enemies anymore. No, just kill me. I'm tired of this now. I ran into too many enemies. There's no escaping them for some reason. Yes, return. I didn't want to. I didn't want to fight that many. If I could, it was gonna take me too much time to even do that. So it's, there was no use. It'll take me outside at least. Hopefully, I was just surprised I couldn't escape. It's, I'd never seen that before, where I can't escape a cave. <laughs> That was the first time I've encountered it. Well, hopefully now, let's see if I can actually last longer. Otherwise, I'm going to be, like, trying to grind or farm for money. And that I do not want to do. It's all dependent on how my upgrades went. Alright, you. I've got some better armor right now. So hopefully, it helps out a little bit. Right here. 
It seems to be a little bit better for now, but we're still getting pummeled. Holy crap. I want to get off of him, too. I, my problem is I have trouble trying to get off of him. What am I, who am I even on right now? This guy? I don't even know who I'm on. Okay, here. These guys are really strong, though. I'm doing a little bit better only. I don't even know who I'm fighting, truthfully. I'm still losing. There's too many people here. I can't even... I need to aim... I, I, still, I still can't do this. There's too many guys here. That's the problem. I want to switch. They're straightening their teamwork, but what can I do? There's really nothing I can do. There's really nothing I can do about it, though. I'm just gonna die. I don't even know who I'm aiming at. I still can't. There's too many enemies. I can't even... If I got an... No. There's no one I even have who's strong enough, unfortunately. I don't want to aim at what's-his-face right away, though. Because I want to try and kill off the, some of the smaller guys. But I'm having trouble even targeting them. Good. Alright, come on, let's aim at you. Everyone, concentrate your fire. This is what we'll do. We'll try and concentrate on these guys for now. Okay, fine here. It's hard to get to the back even. I don't even have any more cover fire. I love to use my TV. I can't even tell who's who. It's too much stuff on the screen. Alright, one is dead. I'm, I'm still losing myself. Wow. That's the wrong guy. Why am I losing my stuff so much? Concentrate. I'm in front of them, unfortunately. I'm dying. I don't know why I'm dying mostly. Are they all aiming at me? I'm trying, but... I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, there's another one down. Alright. Get these smaller guys out of the way. Alright, I'm still doing pretty poor though. Hard to tell, I can't see. Alright, come on. Wow. Oh, I missed it. I'm still doing poorly though. What am I aiming? Okay, you good. I guess. Back. Okay. I'm just doing pretty poorly right now, unfortunately. Oh man, Elma died. Still this guy here, unfortunately. I'm ready to unload on. I'm, I'm dead. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna survive. There's nothing I can do here. They're too strong. What is killing me? She's doing. Why? Why am I dying so much though? I can't even. Like I'm so much higher level than them. I've upgraded my equipment. Why are they killing me so poor, so badly? It's hard to concentrate with the... Uh, there's like six, seven guys there. I know it's only six, but it's like I'm having... I need... He's the one who appears first, the main guy. Oh, they've seen us. Okay. We should them just to yeah, I want to, but oh, there. Try to get like, behind them and stuff is hard enough. All 
or nothing. Oh, look, see, look how bad I'm doing already. I gotta keep using my soul calls here. But it's hard to keep my HP up at all. Look at Lynn. She's taking massive hits here. I don't even think the firepower would help if I had an extra person. See, Lynn already died. The extra firepower would not help me, I don't think. There's something wrong going on here. If I can get one of these guys down, maybe. But look how badly I'm doing again. I'm gonna try. If I can maybe kill him first. Maybe I'll try that out. Clinch. I'll try. I Oh, to cover fire you wanted. I just gotta use my soul calls on him, maybe. Alright. Oh, who do I get rid of? I think I got rid of him. Alright, I may have done good there. Alright, this was the other problem one. Kill you then. How about that? You're the other problem guy. Or a chick, baby. Alright. I'm on the back at least. Oh, I, I missed it or something. I don't really know. Alright, fine. I'm going to concentrate on you next. How about that? I had no other choice at this rate. Get on the side bit. Alright, here. This is a hard battle, even being so leveled up. Alright, it looks like a lot of people died already. I don't have any right now. Missed that one. Alright. Alright, there we go, apparently. Alright, fine. I, the only thing I did different was I, I don't even want to say their names, it's hard. I had to concentrate on him first. Finally, a fight worthy of Gajarg. Gajarg? Well met, but how will you fare when the stakes are raised? How are you raising the stakes now? Gal fight. Equip yourselves as you see fit. Great. Gotta fight a skell. Let the real battle begin. Who doesn't have a skell? I'd like to say my skells are nice and powered, but that's hard to tell. I bet you I gotta run into them right away. We're not even gonna have them right away. So, right away, a disadvantage here a little bit. Alright. There's only two, it seems. Maybe. Back attack here. And if our skills die... That's a, man, they're so strong. They're so strong. Wow, Elma already lost her skill. Or wait. No, if you die here. It looks like if you. Okay, your skill. If your skill dies, you die here. Only me who can really do stuff here. Now it's two versus one. That's hardly fair. I can't even get behind him. Fine. I'm aiming at you. 
I either have a really strong skill or something. Aha. Uh -huh. I want to get rid of the other guy, but... Uh, Right. I'm gonna see what I can do alone here. There is no healing. I need a weapon here. I got. Well, I get rid of the other guy though. But it's hard. These battles are tough, despite the fact that I'm leveled higher. I want to aim at you. You're the faster one, apparently. I, mean, I can't have Doug in this mission at all. So he's the only one with a skill at this point. Well, let's take advantage of this, I guess. I could try overdrive. But I find it also, all it does is makes me lose energy faster, too. Well, that's one down. Can't even extend my uh, overdrive there. Alright. So there can be some extra TP for now. The more I find, the more TP I get, I learn. I'm probably gonna die though. Alright, oh, missed me there. Yeah, well, I'm somehow surviving. That's something. Trip me up a bit. Oh man, I just got out of there in time. Yeah, he's gonna melee it, it looks like. Ah, uh, company, no! Barrier of energy, this sucks. Dude, why are these fights so hard? I'm mopping up. Oh great, my skull died. How come they died? My only my skull got destroyed. Why are these battles so hard? I'm over leveled for it technically. Now I need to go repair my skull. I don't have it anymore. It's dead. How come only mine got destroyed? Man, that means I go back to the barracks. They went down super quickly, uh, those two. I have no more skills. I don't have the money for the skills either. Even if I want to get a fourth person in here, there's no way. Doug has it. And even then, the other person would just go down hard. Menu cannot be open because I'm an idiot. Jeez, this is the hardest battle yet. The hardest battle yet. It's not like I have any extra things I can put on my skill either. The cost is ridiculous. Look, I only have 123,000. That's not enough. I don't. I can't even really buy armor now. It's pointless. And even try to upgrade my skills, it will take a lot of money to do that. Only my skill was able to. I would have to get. Save up enough money to get them some high-end skills as well. That's the only thing I can think of. Unless I can... I don't think I have any extra skill gear for them. And obviously, they're lower than mine. If we all had similar skills, maybe. That's the body. No, there's nothing I can equip here. There's nothing better. I might have to give everyone a high-powered skill or something. It's going to take a lot of money to do that. Means I might have to just do a bunch of quests again, unfortunately. Damn, hard battle. Really hard battle. And I'm I'm above their level. I'm gonna have to give everyone the same type of skill then. O only mine survived, even for the only reason I seem to have survived is because my skill is strong. Had they had strong skills as well, maybe they could have also survived. It's hard to come by a recovery, too. 
I could try one more time, but I really don't think I can even do this one. So let's get in here and try and aim at the smaller scale first, maybe. Where are they? Alright. I missed. Everyone! Connor Trace! Alright, finding here. That helps only a little bit. I wish, but I'm finding for now. Alright, so far we got you down by a little bit. I just used it. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm down. There we go. Back attacks are always good to use. Alright. Fine, you're down. Everyone, concentrate your fire on this then. Alright, that one went a little bit better. Alright, on the side right now. Let's get into the back of you, maybe. Alright, cool. That gave quite a bit of damage there. Damn, I hate that one. I don't know what happened the first time, though. We did really bad on that one. Resistant. I, I wish. But I can't. At least we got appendage down, I guess. All right, let's get the reinforcements, guys. Guys, we need to get these guys. Let's concentrate your fire. There's so many reinforcements here. It's ridiculous. I don't have any. Back. All right. Just gotta concentrate on these guys for now. Ah, uh, yes, good, got it. I don't have any melee attacks, unfortunately. I don't have any. Well, it's not me anyway. All right, another one is down. I have you at least. Hopefully no more come after this. I missed it, unfortunately. I want to get a back attack on you. Okay. I don't have any. Okay. I on the side, unfortunately. Well, we're doing a lot better this time. Yeah, well, this guy's almost dead. There we go. Back to you then. All right, doing a lot better this time. I don't know what happened the first one though. I wish we could find him. Blazing Fury apparently. I took some damage on that one apparently. Damn it! All right, here we go. Wow, that took a big damage on Lin, I think. At the back. All right, come on, back, big back attack. Uh, it was decent enough. Maybe I should uh, do this. I failed that, unfortunately. Back. Let's do this then. Wow, look at that. My skill is really dying here. What's going on? I took some major damage there. And get to the back. Yes, did it! Overdrive to me is very risky though. I take a lot more damage when I'm in overdrive, unfortunately. That's what I find. Maybe I'm doing it wrong somehow, but I feel like that it just causes me to lose a lot more HP. Well, at least I did in this one. The first one, I don't know what happened.
But I did. They, they died almost instantly. I thank you for this defeat. Our encounter has been most edifying. North of here lies a shadowy land of rock and fire. Jagged black stone lit only by scars of boiling magma. There you will find the ganglion stronghold. May the tides of war lift your fortunes! That guy was not so bad, huh? Yeah, he said they're mercenaries. Maybe we could convince them to fight for us. Great idea, Linley. Tatsu love kitties. I wouldn't call them kitties to their face, small fry. They'd slice you up, brine the wedges, add a nice buttercream sauce, then... <laughs> Linley talking way too many details. Oh, huh, sorry. Was I saying that out loud? Linley is not funny. Hey, good news. Lau was just admitted to the maintenance center. Looks like he's gonna make it. Really? Oh, thank God they got to him in time. Let's hurry back and check in on him. Right. Elma? What is it? Nothing. Sorry. Just a little worried about Lau. Let's get back to New L.A. All right, let's finish this chapter. I'm on three out of four, so this is gonna be the last portion of it when we check up on Lao. Are they taking me there right away or not? I'm all ready to warp to NLA, but it's loading quite hard. Oh, cutscene, that's why. That must be the ganglion ship. Grandmaster Luxar. <sighs> I thought I told you never to disturb me in this chamber. What is it? Sir, a message from Gajarn. You'll want to see it, sir. Counselor Luxar, this is mercenary warlord Gajarn, former prince of the Kingdom of Roth. It is with a heavy heart and deep regret that I must report to you that the Rothian people are unable to carry out your mission to annihilate the human race. We realize this means we will no longer enjoy the benevolence of ganglion patronage. So be it. The Rothian people will make our way as an independent mercenary force, effective immediately. We look forward to settling our debt with you on some future battlefield. Until then... Kajar, you traitor! I should have known those ungrateful rats would bite the hand that feeds them! That doesn't mean they're going to join us, though. I doubt it. Well, unless they say we're independent, going to work for humanity. Look at all the other Xenoforms we've got working with us. Doing all that loading for all the cutscenes again. It's not playable. I just remembered. If it just says loading with no bar, I'm not playing. I'm just watching. 
Oblivia. Is Gajar here? With the Rothian uh, creatures, the rest of them? I guess that looks like they're skills. <laughs> you seem to enjoy that, Prince Jark. Ah, but what a shame. If only I could see the look on what that overgrown slug calls a face. My prince, what has gotten into you? You disapprove? On the contrary, everyone loves a scoundrel. Is that so? Then we're in luck. From this day forth, we are lawless vagabonds, subject to no one. What say you to that, you Rothian scoundrels? Well, don't go plundering other people. Other races. Well, there's at least one form of uh, one xenoform race that I haven't uncovered yet because I wasn't strong enough to go and break into stronghold. So we leveled up, leveled up a little bit and got some stuff. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff here. Alright, let's just warp to New LA right off the bat. Ministry of District. Where is Lao being held? Over here. The Minusim Maintenance Center. Another place I visit often, really. They haven't really hinted on what's going on with Lao, but Elma seems to suspect something. But why? And I gotta bring up something afterwards at the end that I was thinking of. I meant to bring it up in last part. But I got busy with other stuff that, uh... You know... I kinda of forgot. Got loads. Alright. Now, where am I going exactly here? It says here... Wait, can I, can I usually go in here? Or is it just an exception for this one? He seems to be out of it. There's Doug. Morning, Sleeping Beauty. Doug? Is this... the life hold? New LA, buddy. Sorry, no real body just yet. They saved your men before it shut down. Too bad, huh? Better luck next time you die. I see. Doug... It's... It's all my fault. Save it. Just rest. <sighs> Elma? Doug, you beat us here. So, how's he doing? He'll be up and around in no time. Why don't you go take a look for yourself? Say hi. Thanks. Doug, we need to talk. Can you spare a minute? Of course. It's about Lao. I have a suspicion. Well, it's more than a suspicion. Hmm. Let's hear it. The Ganglion were struggling to retrieve that alien mech, the Vita. Lao suggested we go after it. He even planned the mission. So we extract it. And the Ganglion know exactly where it is when they come for it, with Lao's team away from guard duty. Oh, boy. In this last mission, he gave us coordinates for a life hold unit he found. It turned out to be a Ganglion ambush. Too much to be a coincidence, Doug. Well, what do you think, Rook? You think he's a spy? Oh, you're asking me?
I'll nod and agree with Elma. Even if you're right, we saved our bacon plenty of times. We should at least give him a chance to explain himself. We owe him that much. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that finishes the chapter, but it doesn't really conclude what's going on with Lao. Huh. He's got some time left, too. Well, let's see what I need for the next chapter, at least. Alright, let's see. Skell Flight Module. Oh, boy! Our flight... Capable scale prototype is finally ready for a field test. That means we'll need testers and tough ones for that. We look for the challenge of visit mission control and accept flight module mission ASAP. Time to hit the skies. Yes, 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 she need anyway. I need to give that a lot. Flight module. Yes. Yep. Out the earth. Oh. Oh boy. Wait. Uh. Where? Where? Do I have it in my missions right now? Flight module. Set. Ah. Where are you? All the way. It's far away, apparently. So. Industrial. I need to go do this. We have to do this. Girl's wings. Uh -huh. This is the closest I can get right now. Yes, yes, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. By the end of this part, and start flying. It'll open up so many more exploration portions. I bet I'm going to need it too. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lobster there I forgot to get. <laughs> That'll only make two. I know of a third one. Actually, I know of a fourth one. All right, in here. Oh boy, oh boy. Can't, I can't run fast enough, I can't run fast enough. Run, 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 run. What do I have to do, what do I have to do? A girl's wings? Okay, skeletons, except flight module basic mission. Least the maximum amount, apparently. Party. Wait, who, what do I need in here? Maximum is what? Is one. Okay then. Uh, where's my uh, party? 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 Why am I having trouble? Which trouble? Active members. Uh, why? No one's even in my team. Why can't I accept it? Seems the maximum size. <coughs> oh, you know why? Probably I'm in here. Only I can be coming this room. I think. What I need to do is get out of the room, and then remove my party. There, that's why. Jeez, you couldn't just remove them. So, do they actually stay in my reserves? I suck at to find them again. I bet I have to find them. Uh, maybe I should go do a heart-to-heart -heart with Elma then or something. Because uh, that's the only way I can think of doing them. Alright, now my party's good enough. Girl's wings. Yes. Let's see this affinity mission. Lynn. That's why I couldn't have her in my party. So you made it. Why am I not surprised? Who else would have the stones to turn up for an experimental scale test flight? Stones in your head, I mean. You and Doug are the only ones crazy enough to even try. That's a horrible way to put it, Commander. I mean, sure, previous tests often involved engine explosions and lots of fire. 
And there was that one that went berserk and crashed itself into the sea. But that's all a perfectly natural part of the RNG process. Right? Agree. Oh, she got you wrapped around her itty bitty finger, don't she? Doug, too. For all his grousing, that boy just keeps coming back for more. I don't get it. Must be addicted to the rush, I suppose. Commander, risking life and limb in the name of science is a noble cause and its own reward. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, enough chit chat. Lynn, why don't you walk him through it? Right. I've been mulling over why all my flight pack designs keep blowing up. I think I've finally found the cause. Conventional scales just don't have the energy to provide enough lift. So I've taken a step back and redesigned a scale from scratch. The result is an integrated flight-capable scale system, or IFCSS for short. Forget the stupid acronym. I finance this, and I say we're calling it a scale flight module. Oh. Did I mention I also got the arms manufacturers on board to help out? Really? You're the best, Commander! Yeah, well, that ain't the hard part. We can't have any more failures, you hear me? This time, it's a sure thing, my friend. The two of us are taking part in development to make certain of that. Isobe! Jajani! Well, if the bigwigs at Sakuraba and CNC aren't worried, I guess I shouldn't be either. Yes, although we do have a slight concern regarding a lack of materials, don't we? How much concern we talking? Well, our final check turned up one significant problem. As it stands now, our chances of success are maybe 10%, you know. That ain't good. What if we fix this little problem? 99.9999999% success. Right, Jajani? Yes, yes! We are perfect odds, aren't we? Then the answer's clear. Sorry to surprise you, but can you go salvage the materials? I got no choice. I have to go. If I want to fly... Awesome. I know you'll find them in no time. Me? Alone? Right. Bring the materials back here once you round them all up. Lynn, you use this time for another final system to check. This is our last shot. Understood, sir. I'm on it. I promise to get this big bucket of love into the mirror and skies before long. Okay. What do I have to find, even? Uh, oh, okay. Great. Here I go, but I've already apparently completed it or something. Oh, I know, I completed the, uh... Commander's mission. I didn't collect the stuff. Great. Okay, let's find where this stuff is. Get an upgrade quell from the Ox Serves. Light speed jet bin from the. Oh, no, screw that. I'm going to buy it with my tickets. No point in going through all that trouble. Yep. Yep, I'm doing it this way. Why not? It's legit. It's in the game. Especially for just one item for each of them. I might as well just get them with my tickets. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm like, over there. These reward tickets, I got plenty. Alright, so I need... Upgraded coil, it says. Upgraded coil. Upgraded coil. And light speed jet bin. Unfortunately, I gotta flip through all this. But it's worth it. It's worth it. It's, I still got a lot of tickets left. There's just a fast way to flip through it. I try, there isn't. Basically, I gotta go. Going down would have been any faster anyway. I'm almost at L. Come on, L! L, 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 and not the uh, guy. I haven't used him in a while. Alright, light speed. Cool. I got all I need. Let's head back there. Nope. 
I pressed the wrong thing. I was too excited. It's still far away, unfortunately. Well, here I go. With the loads. I am too busy, Tatsu. You know what I'm doing? I gain a flying skill. I think that warrants the high speed uh, transporting. Why does Tatsu stay with us anyways? <laughs> oh yeah, he has a ball thing. I forgot. I don't remember what it does even, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll learn about it at some point. I just remember... I, I completely forgot that exists. Whoa, I like... Stopped. To a halt here. Apparently my main character is more excited than I am. At least it didn't make me run all the way to the back, I guess. Just walking along. It blew up? <laughs> What'd you do to it? Now my dreams are crushed. The hell did you do, Lynn? I I don't know. Just give me a second. Oh! I had the amp furnace circuit in backwards. I am so sorry. I can't believe I'd do something that dumb in the final check. Oh, you're back. I take it you managed to gather the materials? As you can see, the test flight's gonna need to be postponed. Maybe cancelled entirely. Sorry for the bad news after all your hard work. No, wait! I'll handle the repairs and resolve the final issues myself. Commander, please. I need this to work. I need to make it happen. It's the last homework assignment I'll ever have. Please, let me complete it. I understand where you're coming from, Lynn. But it's not my call. That last slip-up has the Sakuraba guy spooked. The higher-ups aren't gonna be happy unless this thing could be mass-produced. All my work. The apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Don't worry about it, Vandom. I'll convince my people. I may just be a humble engineer, but I've given my life to Sakuraba. Let an old man cash in some of his favors. Thank you, Isobe. Well, that's one problem down. But this death trap still needs a pilot. After that little display before, I doubt anyone will be nuts enough to volunteer. Oh, 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 You'd have to be real Oh, 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 oh! Now that that's settled, when can you have this bucket of bolts fixed? I'll have it ready by tomorrow. All right, you've got till morning. Past that, and I'll have to call it off for now. The higher-ups will want to take another long look and decide if this is still where they want to spend their money. Understood. I won't let everyone's hard work go to waste. And I won't let down my brave test pilot either. I swear. Come on, skip to tomorrow. Skip to tomorrow. Besides, I ran out of time. It's done. I did it. I swear it's totally safe and secure this time, Commander. We dreamed of a scale that can fly through the air. And now it's finally here! Looks that way to me. And trust me, I looked close. 
This thing should work. Better. What do you say? Ready to put your life in the hands of this thing? Firm. That's the spirit. Should be a hell of a view from up there. Assuming you get up there. It'll fly, jeez. Do you trust me on this or not? Oh, come on! You're gonna go on a perfect test flight and show all these naysayers what's up. All right, let's get this party started. Flyer to the specified point to start. It's a spot we haven't been able to reach before now. The perfect landing point for our test plane. I thought so. We'll be monitoring your progress from here. Good luck. Oh, and whatever you do, don't damage the scale. I think what you meant to say was come home safe. So, am I actually going to, uh, fly right now? Man, this little inch is getting in the way! Come on! Now what do I do? The vehicle mode. Data, install data pro front your nav sight 110. Where is that? It's in Primordia. And it's about over there. Well, let's warp there, then. Well, then, let's fly there. Now, how does one fly? I assume maybe just, like, jumping twice or something and holding the A? That's how I would design it, personally. So, up here. Or... There we go. Oh! <laughs> Oh, they actually have flying music for it? Oh, the only thing is he uses obviously my fuel. Where is this probe? Jeez, I gotta go high for it! Oh boy! Talon Rock Summit. Oh boy, I am high up. That's gotta be it. Here's my probe site. How do you... How do you land? Oh. The opposite button then. Okay. This is... Done. Cheer. I felt like I was flying myself, and that's just from watching you down here. You could go anywhere with that skill. Well, in any case, you make it back to New LA in one piece, and we'll call this a success. Just make sure to stay focused, okay? I know you'll make it home without a scratch. I could just warp there. So if I do this... Oh, okay. I can use more fuel to go faster. Which means I can even fly up to the man on ship now. Let's fly back! Alright! I'm gonna crash! No, I'm not. I'm joking. All right. Haha. -ha. That was fun. I can't wait to go flying around. I might do that all next part. I might just go fly. The door is um. The door's kind of broken. Okay. This whole thing hasn't even loaded. Oh, there we go. There's all the textures. Yeah, I I came. 
too fast, the textures didn't load. Welcome back. That was one hell of a maiden flight. She passed the test. We'll get rolling on mass production ASAP. Yes! This makes everything worth it. Sure, I put poor Doug through hell and wound up wasting some rare materials. But I had to do this. I had to make my dream a reality. Uh, that's not why it was so important. That's not how you feel like she... That's why it was so important. You know, before they died, my parents began this as an independent research project. But they passed away before they could finish the design. That's how the flight pack got started. A device that can let any scale fly still feels like science fiction. I can't imagine what possessed them to even attempt such a thing. But I knew I had to finish what they started. I felt like I'd never be a worthy engineer if I didn't. So, I called it my last homework assignment. Those are some big shoes to fill. You can rest assured that your folks would be proud as hell. You know that, right? You did good, kid. You too. Thanks for all your support. Enthuse. I was that you'll use site for the no, yep. Damn straight. Once we get our people trained up on these, those ganglion are history. Alright, enough jibber jabber. It's time to get flying. With eyes in the sky, we'll track down that damn life hole core in no time. Yes! Does that mean my regular scale can fly? That's what I wonder. They'll probably give me a thing, a tutorial thing. Surprise from the commander. Looks like the flight module project's finally off the ground. I owe you one. Which is exactly why I took the liberty of modifying your scales with the new flight tech. This project's been a personal dream of mine, so it's really the least I can do. Yeah! Alright! Aha! I got my flying scale. Who's here? Who are you? Who are you? Or Hugo? Go away, Hugo! Let's just check here now. Well, I can't check here. The last thing I do before I go, and also uh, mentioning about... The, remember how Elma said we'll be surprised when we see her real body? Or something, because of the... When we get the stuff out of the life hold? I just makes it... Brings up a few questions. First of all, if Elma would seem to have been pretty well known to begin with, even before uh, on Earth, I mean, she did battle those Ganglion till the very end in the Skell. So how could it be that even someone like Lynn doesn't really know uh, what she really looks like? And is she even human? It also brings up another interesting thing. Uh, if, uh... Ah, oh, goddamn, I gotta find them. I don't, even know, I don't even know where they hang out. They're always on my team. Granted, I could take maybe some weaker guys in my team eventually just so I can get them leveled up. That might be one of the best bets. But then I'll be over-leveled. Either way, so that brings me up with an idea of how this might relate to the main character and the story. This could be... The Mimioso might not be who the main character actually is. Maybe that's why no one knows who he is, because the Mimioso he took doesn't match his real uh, body. Maybe that's... I'm just kind of thinking, that would be an interesting twist, wouldn't it? This avatar you create is nothing more than the Mimioso you create for the main character. But he has a real form, just like um, uh, Elma does. They also mentioned with Marcus that they'll have made him more handsome or something. You know, so that so apparently people who become Mimi Sims don't always choose what they actually look like for some reason, which is strange. But that's it for this part. Next time, maybe we'll go do some flying. So long.